Coach's Connection, connecting you and the greater DMV to local sports programs, as well as the coaches that inspire our local youth. Welcome to another edition of Coach Connection. I'm Ferrari Tate, your host, and I'm really honored to introduce you to an amazing coach making a difference in the lives of young persons all across the DMV. Brother, please tell everybody who you are because you're making a difference. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is uh, Davon Trowell, uh, founder, CEO, president of DMV Night Sports Academy, also the head coach of uh, Blazeburg High School. Okay. Now, you didn't just fall into coaching. You've been one of those guys who've been coached, right? Yes, sir. So give us a little history about some of those coaches that impacted your life. Well, I, um, I grew up playing football at uh, Fallsville High School, um, and I had a couple of coaches, Coach Prescott, Coach Steve. You know, those guys were guys who uh, showed me that, through sports and confidence in myself, I can kind of do whatever I wanted to do. So I kind of wanted to present that to the young kids of the generation now. You know, it's, it's a, they really need it, believe it or not, in this time. Yeah. And you've seen how being a coach has changed lives. You know, some of the young persons that you're dealing with now. But tell us, because a lot of times people don't understand the impact that you all are making on these young men and women yeah. lives. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, in dealing with the youth community, uh, sometimes you come across kids who have single family homes. Uh, you come across kids who kind of don't feel like they're good enough, and, you know, and don't have that that platform or that uh, that uh, arena where they can build, you know, confidence and, and friendships and things like that. So when I created the DMV Knights Sports Academy, I really did it for my son, you know, to have kids where he can grow up with for a long time and build relationships with not just. Um, the kids, but the families, you know, it's, it's a big network of people. We have about 300 plus kids now, and they all, you know, consider themselves brothers. And, you know, hopefully that catapults them to their next life, you know, and then actually being a high school head coach as well, and, and actually seeing the transition from some kids coming from youth to high school football, it, it's, 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 they need it, you know, they, a lot of them push each other, even if they don't play high school ball together, it pushes them to uh, really, could be, be better as they go on in the future. I've had the pleasure of interviewing some of the young students and I was amazed. Their grades, mm -hmm. their their desires to be excellent, you know? Their competitiveness wasn't just on the field. Can you give us some of the, what are some of the, the character traits that you see being molded when these young persons are playing their sport? Um, like I said, really for me it's, what, I, what I've noticed, and, and, and especially in like a lot of my young kids, just the pushing each other piece of it, you know? And they all kind of have the same goal, you know? And that's really playing at the next level, whatever that next level, you know, is for them. So, you know, with the market of private schools, with the, with the market of kids getting uh, offer letters in, as early as eighth grade now, eighth grade. you know, they, they're really pushing each other, not to just be better as athletes, but better students, uh, better kids around the house. They're even competitive on a video game, you know, okay. so. Well, he's a father too, so you know, <laughs> he's robbed that, so he knows. Yeah, so it, it, it really, it just really characterized, it builds up confident young men, you know, and it, they, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good thing to actually watch them. And I mean, we have girls that also play too, so within the, within the organization and just seeing them interact and things like that. It's just, it's a difference. So we talked about the students now, where do you see them going? Actually, man, the sky's the limit for the ones who actually listen to the message. You know, for, for me, my message has always been to my kids, man, grades. Talent is not what's gonna take you to the next level. You know, it's, it's really education. What you put into your natural body, you know, as far as education and eating right, football gonna come, basketball gonna come, baseball gonna come. If you're good at it, you're good at it. You know, so if you really just take the, the to us, what would be the small thing, which is the educational piece, and you just hone in on that, man, you, the sky's the limit for you, man. And the opportunities is, is as we're seeing now where HBCUs are, are, you know, becoming to be the big time thing. Mm -hmm. Man, the platform and the arena for, for sports is, is humongous. So our students can go. Oh man, definitely. Our students can compete. Yeah, yeah. and I want y'all to realize that because see, we often see 30 minutes, you know, segments on TV of what our children are not doing. But here on Coach Connection, you're not only gonna hear about what they're doing, you're gonna be able to be a part of 
what they're doing. So how can a person volunteer or support your agency? So um, for us, for volunteers, we're always looking for coaches. Uh, you can reach out to myself, uh, Davon Trowell, uh, DMV Night Sports Academy on Instagram. Uh, my phone number, you know, you can give me a call anytime. Uh, and, and I'll, you, you can drop the number if you want it. 240-253. Uh, <laughs> 7447. Man, reach out to me if you're interested in coaching. Uh, we do cheer. If you're interested in being a cheer coach, you know, we do basketball, basketball, you're interested in coaching baseball, soccer, you know, whatever it is. You know, if you want to just have an opportunity to give back, you know, you just reach out to me. This is what it's about. When we come together and meet children where they are, we can help them to grow to what they can be become. They can become it when we all are helping them live their dreams now. Yeah. How early do you start with a, like, is there a specific age? So, so I, I, you know, we started our organization at three years old, uh, where we offer three, four flag. And, and it's, and it's really uh, a thing of knowing your kid too, you know, um, you want to you want to start them as early as you can, but you don't want to force them because you'll make them hate it. You know, mm -hmm. you get a lot of these, you got to you get a lot of parents who want the next best thing, you know, and yeah, they yeah. they want it at three years old. <laughs> you know, the reality of it is still give them an opportunity to be a kid, yeah. but introduce them to it early. You know, I mean, people introduce their kids to hunting as early as nine. So yeah. <laughs> definitely, yeah. man. Three years old. I'm not putting a gun on my nine exactly. year. <laughs> I didn't want to put that out there. We're not advocating that. But I'm telling you, I, I enjoy watching my son play soccer when he was younger. Exactly. You yeah. know, I enjoy yeah. watching my daughter play lacrosse. I never play lacrosse, mm -hmm. but when she played lacrosse, I played. So this is an opportunity for you to play with and not push young, exactly. young persons. Exactly. Because that happens a lot. You know, yeah. you see those parents like, oh, rah, rah, rah. What kind of insights could you give those parents in helping them understand how to introduce mm -hmm. sport opportunity, not force? Well, the, the best thing I can tell parents, the, the number one thing I tell all parents, learn the game. You know, learn the game that you're introducing your kid to. Learn as much as you can about it, even to the point of the referee, you know. Um, then once you do that, allow the people that you have entrusted to coach, the opportunity to coach them. Um, most kids that I've noticed that fall out of love out of sports early are the kids who get off the practice field, get in the car, gotta talk about practice, get in the house, gotta talk about practice, gotta go to school on the way to practice, talking about practice. It's, give them a chance to still be a kid, you know what I'm saying? And and that way when they get out there, it's it's the same thing for them. Yeah make them love the game yeah, through yeah. loving the game, yeah. not forcing it on them. Yeah. I hope you heard that because see on Coach Connection, we want to give you those insights for you to help your young person have those options because some of our students are, are not going to be playing professional sports. What happens when that happens, brother? It, it's funny that you, just, that you actually said that because I actually just posted on my social media today mm -hmm. about that same you know thing. Mm -hmm. And we have to make, we have to now we've pushed training on kids. You know, they train as early as six years old, you know, they're, and they're, most of them are position training, which in my opinion is a bad idea, you know, but you train, you know, if you're gonna train them, get them movement skills and things like that, that will translate into any kind of sport, not yeah. just the sport that they're playing. Um, but what, I, what I've what i noticed and what I've said was, we don't really prepare our athletes, especially the DMV area mm -hmm. for life if they don't make it. So they kind of feel defeated, you know, coming to my high school students the same way. They feel like, dang, I don't have anything outside of it. So I encourage them, man, man listen, teach them a life skill too, through playing sports. And that's why we, you gotta stick on them grades. You can't just rely on the game to be the game because it cannot make you go to the NFL, NBA, MLB, but if it can get you a college education. And if you can win that way, Man, you, you've actually achieved the ultimate goal in playing sports, yeah. you know, and allow it to give you a free education, man. And that's, that's, the, that's the end game. Got it. And so you as a volunteer, if you want to volunteer, how do we volunteer again? So if you just contact me um, again, my name is Davon Trowell. Phone number is 240-253-7447. You can also reach out to me on DMV Night Sports Academy on Instagram and then DMV Night Sports Club on Facebook. Um, I'm always, always willing to talk and, and get new coaches and volunteers. And now, you have been doing this for a long time, and I want y'all to pay attention to this question, right? Now, when it comes to funding, 
how much does it really cost? When you think about all of the money that goes into getting this kid, this young adult, into a position that they can move into that scholarship at a school. I mean, what is the average cost of a, 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 if a parent wants to say, you know what, I want to really support my child through this athletic platform, through yeah. this career, you know? Man, it, it really, it can go from hundreds to thousands of dollars, you know, and that's, and that's if you're, that's like if you're the extremist, you yeah. know, that parent that really wants to get them to training, that really wants to really, really put them in sports. And I, and I, I don't agree. With, I won't necessarily say all sports early on, you know, yeah. try to focus on one sport early on. You know, it can be very expensive. You are looking at, like I said, thousands of dollars. Uh, and over the time, you could easily be at about forty, fifty thousand dollars and you won't even know it when you start thinking about travel expenses yeah. and, and yeah. you know, and tournament play and league play. It's just it, it become it does become very expensive. Yeah. But you had a situation where through these schools, young persons are playing because they want to. They don't have to pay to play. Yeah, yeah. And that's something that I want you to know, that if you have the ability to write a check to these schools, write a check to these programs, you are literally sowing into the lives of these young persons through these coaches. Yeah. And But we want you, we started with asking you to volunteer, even if you do not coach. Coming out to Tudor game or just coming and say, look, let me help with someone's homework. Let me help help someone write that paper to get into school. We have to get actively involved in the lives of our young persons through where our young people are. Yeah. We be trying to make young people do this. Well, see where they are and be a part of that. And so yeah. that's why Coach, Coach Connection is here. We want to be able to help you. So I want you to tell everybody in your own words, what is really the help that you need? Because when you see the eyes of that young person, you are committed to that young person for life. Well, you know, and the, the one piece that you just mentioned, like teachers, teachers tutoring, you know, is tutoring, mentoring. That is a, that really is a big part when it comes to um, the development of a child. You know, we, we, we speak on grades, but truth of the matter is some coaches are not the best Educators, you know what I'm saying? We we stay in our lane. We we do need those educators when it comes to financial. You know, sometimes you don't have the best equipment. You don't have the best resources to actually teach a kid or train a kid that that other venues may have. You know, so those things like even at Bladesburg High School, we don't even have a field. So those those avenues and those things like that, man, are are big time when it comes to the development of the student athlete. Thank you so much, Coach. And you, you heard him say it again. They don't even have a feel, but they get up every day. And when it comes to practice, when it comes to performing, they're there. So what's the future? When you think about your program, you think about your organization, what does the future look like? The future for me at, uh, at, at Bladesburg High School, for, I'll start there. It, it, looks, it looks promising. You know, the more, that, the more that, we, that I reach out to people like yourself and networks like this and uh, the more that my athletic director backs me and my principal's backing me there, mm -hmm. the, the future is bright. Um, the, we get we actually got the community behind us this year, you know, from the, the councilwoman to the mayor to the, even the chief of police at, at Blaisburg. Yeah. You know, they are, they have, they've actually committed to, to backing us to a couple of neighborhood, you know, advocates for the program. Um, when it comes to the youth, man, the future is really, 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 really. Bright. Tell us about it. Come on now. We, do have, we have a couple of national championship contenders and now within our organization um we're we're seeing two to three hundred kids a year um and it, it could get possibly bigger than that you know so every year we're kind of like competing for that for that national championship within our organization uh good competitive coaches everyone goes to clinics so it's a it's a great the future in DMV football is actually big time, though. You know, Come on, tell us not, about it. it's from <laughs> not just my program, but from all over. You know what I'm saying? It's I I, I actually started it every nice to prove that DMV got some talent. talent. Yes, you know yes. But we just don't got the best resources. Now we got a platform now. Yeah, you, know? you know. So so this network here is is really going to be amazing, and and I mean I I would encourage every every coach that to, to, to get an opportunity to sit on this platform because, like I said, well, this. Thank you. It's, it's, it's a blessing. Yeah, well, we're blessing when we bless others also. And so you can be a blessing by reaching out to coach. You heard his name, you can see it in the text. 
It's on us to come together to make sure our next generation have what they need now to have a brighter future tomorrow. Be a part of that. And once again, Coach, thank you. Thank you. For all you're doing to make the lives of our young persons better now. People talk all the time, but you on the field with them. Yeah, <laughs> very true. Thank you for watching another edition of Coach Connection. I'm Farrar Tate, your host, inspiring you to know that you can make a difference in the lives of our young persons now. Coach's Connection, connecting you and the greater DMV to local sports programs, as well as the coaches that inspire our local youth. This show has been brought to you by the Scholar Athlete Sports Network, SASN.TV.